Hey guys, and welcome to another part of the castle update. Um, we have done a lot on the castle itself, on the outside, but also on the inside. And I'm really pumped to show you guys. Um, yeah, without further ado, let me start with this video. So, as you can see, for the outside, we um, finished all these towers who were not finished in the previous updates. Um, we fixed some of these roofs to make them look even better and I think it's yeah I think it's going to look pretty nice over here um, I made something like a weird staircase small balcony thing so we can go down here and even more and then go to the inside or something and here I made this kind of thing together with effort roll and I think it turns out pretty cool then over here this is something I pre made um, on the inside it's a small chapel uh, inside the castle itself but this thing on the outside looks really really nice and yeah then for the outside nothing really changed except on this side um, I planned some things that I'm going to do with the castle itself and yeah then over here if you cross this bridge over here then you go to this small um no, not, not small this this tower is under construction yes and yeah, I did it. I just copied the big tower from the other side of the castle and just pasted it in over here. And just um, added all these construction things to make it look cooler. And yeah, I think it turned out pretty cool. With some uh, materials over here that you can use to build. And this is not supposed to be like this, but I'm going to make um, the inside of it a bit more decorated. So it's also fun. Um, on the inside yeah of course yeah sure okay but now um, I'm going to show you the changes for the interior of the castle so for um, the throne room we are actually after decorated this carpet in the middle with um, different kinds of colors and yeah we finished the walls and the ceiling and yeah I think it turned out pretty nice um, as you can see instead of the green um, stained clay we used the red stained clay all over the castle because you guys suggested that and that's just what we did after that then um, up here nothing really changed we just made a small part of this corridor and that's it but then down here Let's see if we go here, then turn left and down. We go to um, the wine cellar. I'm not quite sure if you can see it, it's pretty dark. Um, but we try to make a kind of wine cellar, and yeah, we, we still have to do a lot of um, random things to storage here. But I think for now it looks pretty cool and. Yeah, we made a lot of rooms around here, and yeah, that's basically everything for this. Then we go up again, Let's see, up the stairs, and turn left. Then right here, someone was working on his own room here, but yeah, okay, nothing happened um, to the courtyard. But we finished some walls up here, and that's basically it for that. Then in here is the small chapel. No, not actually small. It's pretty big. Um, I pre-designed most of it, and yeah, as you can see, it's not completely done by filling in the walls and that kind of stuff. But I think it looks now. It looks pretty cool. Um, it is bot. Hi, Bob. Okay, that's basically everything for um, the chapel. 
Now we continue. Then over here, um, we started the kitchen design, and as you can see, we didn't do much for the kitchen itself. But if you go down here, we have a small storage with. Oh man. And we used a lot of things that you normally can't do in um, Minecraft, Fl like floating stuff and um, these kinds of things, or water in um, here. And yeah, I think it turned out pretty nice. This was built by um, Mart, so uh, thank you for that. Then if you go here. You have also some not yeah unfinished rooms, and for here you have also an unfinished room. Still have to do a lot of interior over there, but then over here we have our um, dining room. The ceiling and all that kind of stuff, and yeah, the walls were made by a patrol. Then. Yeah, um, I made this fireplace and this, this table with these um, cakes on the table. And I think it turned out pretty cool. Also, nice concept to what we did is um, we used player hats with um, a special texture so to simulate smaller cupcakes. And I think that looks pretty cool. We did that. Um, Everywhere actually in a city, um, for example, in market stalls, we used chests this size, and it's also a, an awesome way to randomize. Uh, my Minecraft start lagging, and I'll see you when that's over. Okay, I'm back. Now, if you go this side and just walk this whole hallway. Walking, 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 walking. Speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up. Para, para. And you go this side. Then um, this is the first corridor we made um, in the castle. Then we have this small room over here. With a lot of bookshelves. This is the Gary, the Gary, Gary and yeah, maps. Something with maps. And we made this kind of storage again. Um, we try to um, simulate the map chamber or the map room in Amnesia, the Dark Descent, and I think it turned out pretty nice. So in the end of the video I will show you something over here uh, that's a bit secret, but now we we'll just continue the tour. If you go down here, you walk all this hallway. You come here this is um, as you can see the library I made this uh, together with Prudos and I think it turned out pretty nice we have this kind of walkway over here to um, walk and get your books out of these bookshelves and as you can see we randomized a lot with fences and stairs and bookshelves and slabs and I think that looks pretty cool if you go over here, you enter this balcony. And yeah, that's basically all for the library itself. And if you go this way and go right here, no, no, for first we go here. If I've made this small room and what happened there? Supposed to be book sh uh, bookshelves behind there, but something happened and a lot of it disappeared. <laughs> but okay. Um, now, if you go here, we made, or actually I made, a small staircase. Still have to decorate the walls a bit because now it's just one plain wall. Still have to add a lot of depth and that kind of stuff. But you will go to the second floor. And 
Did we plant some uh, corridors over here, but it's not. Um, we didn't do anything else here. So that's actually for this floor. And then if you go um, more up, then you hit this um, smaller corridor over here, and you enter my personal room. Over here we have small bookshelf over here, but just shelf. Then um, bathtub with um, things where you can hang your clothes and that kind of stuff. Then my king size bed where I can sleep. It's a nice flag in the background. And then here we have a small um, study kind of room where I can read books or something what I never do in real life but that's besides the point then if you go up here you enter this small balcony over here and yeah that's basically uh, everything for the inside of this um, castle so now I'll show you guys the secret we uh, built in this castle there's a secret way to open this door. Ooh, spooky. So if you enter here, um, you can see this kind of storage facility thing over here. If you go down, down, you enter this kind of hallway with um, this door over here. If you go through this door, see if this works. You enter um, this kind of place. This is a place um, completely built by Epper, and it looks pretty nice. I think it's supposed to be some sort of prison. Uh, I'm not completely sure, but let's look at it. It's really large and massive and that kind of stuff. If you go down here, you have this small um, pit well thing with blood and it's dark and you can't really see what's down there. And I think it looks pretty nice. Um, it's supposed to be some part of the Amnesia game, of the, um, let's see. the map called Amnesia Rain, I guess it's called. Um, I've never actually played the game itself, but I think the, the room itself looks just pretty nice. And yeah, that's basically everything we did for the castle itself. So I hope you liked this video, and if you do, please subscribe. Also subscribe to all the people in the description below. Tell me in the comments below what you want to see next time, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.